Still talking labor work progresses to fill the nation's skills gap. Carla Palma tells us tonight about this morning's open house aimed at fulfilling this goal. The Department of Labor, Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute, and the Lowell J. Mortimer Maritime Academy, LJM, are the principal partners committed to fulfilling and elevating the country's skills gap through education and training through several free courses. President of BTVI, Dr. Robert Robertson, says the National Center for Construction, Education and Research Program, NCCER, responds to employers' demands for skilled labor. These are shorter, modularized courses with industry certifications. And we have heard from developers across the country that those are the certifications that they need to can help us to build this country post-COVID and post-Dorian. 240 students are currently enrolled in the NCCR program, still not nearly enough to fill the void of locally skilled craftsmen, notes the Minister of Labor Keith Bell, now needed for the billions of dollars of investments presently underway in the country. When we sit and make a determination as to whether or not an investment should go on in this country, we have to determine, and the investors ask, for a number of work permits in a number of fields. And we have to grant, in many cases, these work permits simply because we do not have the bank of skilled labor to meet the demand. President of LJM Academy, Dr. Brenda Mayclair, is too excited to be a partner and highlighted offerings at the tertiary institution as options of expanding the workforce. Since been open from 2014, offering diploma programs in nautical science with options in navigation and engineering. These certifications are globally recognized. Hence, persons completing this workforce certif certification readiness program will be able to work anywhere in the world. This latest open house and careers fair marks the second by this group. The first was held in Eleuthera back in February. Carla Palmer, ZNS Network News.